In this video, we will show you how to set up your Arctic 5 or Arctic 10 developer board. The first step is to check the positions of the jumpers, J20 and J33, and the position of the dip switches, which should both be set to their off position. Plug in the serial debug connector. This will be the micro USB connector. Note that the transmit and receive lights go on. This is because the circuit is being powered by the USB port. Next, plug in the 5 volt power supply. Please use the one that was included with your developer port. To discover which port the serial debug connector is connected to, switch to the slash dev directory and look for the cu.usb serial entry. Copy the entry and then use the screen command with the baud rate 115200 to connect to the board. The first thing you will see is a blank screen. Turn on the power switch. Note that this is like putting the battery in your cell phone. It doesn't actually turn the phone on, it just gets the phone ready. Then press the power button. This is like pressing the button on your cell phone to turn it on. In the terminal window, you'll see the boot process taking place. Once the boot process is complete, you can log into the developer board with the login root and the password root. Now we're going to create a place to put our programs. Go to the home directory and note that it is empty. Now we're going to make a directory called test and this will be where we're going to put our programs. We're now ready to start programming on our Arctic board. For more information, go to developer.artic.io. Thanks for watching.